So Control X will clear your screen and it erases it, and you're right, you're back where you begun. Okay. Absolutely. That's typically what I do. All right. Now we're gonna because what it does it resets your parameters. You're ready to start drawing again. And so I want to show you one more thing, probably the most important thing in Blender, as uh, in, in addition to the E key, is the space bar. So say I want to add something different than this cube, and I'm gonna just delete my cube. So you should have a blank screen like this. Hit, just hit the uh, delete button. And uh, say I want to add something else. I hit the space bar, and up comes the menus of items I can add. All right. And say I want to add, go to mesh, and I want to add a UV sphere, for example. I hit OK. And there's a sphere. Uh, Blender also hit the space bar again to add something else. Blender also has a famous monkey. So I'm going to roll in a little bit here. This is the famous Blender monkey. All right. Okay. Delete that or I'll just roll back. All right. Let me show you how to, in a sense, to duplicate an item. Very important in Blender. All you have to do is hit the Shift D key when something's selected. And then it grabs it out, and there you have two things. Now, if I hold my if I hold my shift key and right click, I select two items at the same time. If I hit the shift D key, I can make four of them. Sure. Let's add another I item. Uh, hit the space bar. Go to mesh. And choose a cube, a circle, whatever you want to. Uh, when we build the the sword. We'll, we'll choose a uh, circle, believe it or not, and we'll actually work on that, deform it, and build a sword. So I want to show that sh basically how to add an object, and it's very important when you box model to do that. Uh, in uh, 3ds Max, for example, I'll box model just from a simple box. But in Blender, you have to think a little differently. So if I, when I box model my spaceship, I'm actually box model from a cylinder. Okay, we're going to do that uh, today. So if you hold your middle mouse down, you can rotate around and see, well, you created all these different objects. Well, we're done with that, so hit Control X to get off of that. And now it's time to build our more complex pyramid. All right, so it's next to move on to the next more complex pyramid. And what I want to do is actually go to the web, get an image, bring that image into Blender, and use it as a reference image. So whenever you draw, it's important to use references. We're not going to get really super into this. I mean, people use references where they're actually they're right on them, and they're modeling right on the reference. We're just going to use it to look at. But I just want to show you how to bring a reference image into Blender. So we're going to model a more advanced pyramid, kind of like an Inca pyramid. And so let's go to the web and grab one. So just bring up your browser and go uh, Google and search on pyramids, and we'll bring up an image, and we'll bring that right into Blender, and we'll model use it, and we'll use that as a reference image. So let's go um, www.google.com pyramid. I just choose images. And I think I did this with you, Lois, last time, right? And we're going to look for the sa similar one, kind of a stepping up image. There one. Here's my, what's that? Chicken Itza? How do you pronounce that? Chicken Itza? Thank you very much, Roxanne. <laughs> and is that, what kind of temple is that? Do you know? Aztec. Okay, we're going to model our Aztec image today. So just going to bring that up, and we can basically. Uh, see the full size and you can right click on it and just save it to your desktop and then we're going to bring that right into Blender okay and get off of that and so now that you have your image in, in, uh, on the desktop or somewhere on your computer you can actually import that into Blender use it as a reference and so where do we do that from well here's in view if you click on the view button there is there, okay, you have your pyramid on your desktop. We're going to import that into Blender. So what you do is go here and click on the View button, and it already has it in here automatically. Now in 3ds Max, what you do is you put a plane on the stage, you make sure it's proportioned correctly to the portions of your image, and you throw it on. Here it's just a, a simple background image import. So just click on that import. It says Use Image, okay, and hit Load. And then you just go find your image wherever it's at. And I'm going to click here at this button right here. It says Desktop. That's where I put my image. And I'm going to go here and look for that. Hopefully it's here somewhere. There's my temple. I'm going to click on that. 
and hit select image. And I can X that out now, and there's my image right there. So is everyone where I'm at right now? Okay, go ahead and hit the S key. And just make it as large as the pyramid. And, you, and notice that the closer you are, the more stretch you get. So if I hit the S key and I'm far away from the screen, it stretches less. But if I'm close to the center right here and hit the S key, I get more stretch. So make it about the size of the pyramid. Okay. You're good. And what you're going to do right here is you can, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to hit the tab key to, to edit, A key to get off of that, B key to select the top vertices. Okay. Now, does everyone have the top vertices selected? Okay, let me come along and help you guys. Okay, so everything's big now. So what we're going to do is push, push those vertices down to our first level of our Inca temple. So push them down. And I can see it's lower than I want it to be, so I'm just going to hit the uh, tab key, and I'm going to hit the G key to grab it, and I'm going to move it right to where it's supposed to be. You should have something that looks like that. And I'll come help you, Roxanne. Tab, so I can get back to the G mode, and I treat it as an object, and I move it around on the screen, and I position it right on the base. And now it gets pretty easy. So uh, that was the hard part. Just click. Now, if I hold my middle mouse down there, I have a nice square base for my pyramid. You see that? And really, what I'm going to do is just basically extrude this thing up over and over again. All right. So let's just kind of rotate it to yourself so you can see it like this. We're not going to really get real religious about the Inca temple today. We're just going to try to learn how to use the basic commands here, okay? Just wanted to show you how to bring a reference object into 3ds Max and know that you can get very religious with using that, but for today we won't be that way. And so everyone, I want you to rotate into a scene that looks just like this. We're going to climb up the y-axis right now. We're ready to build our pyramid right now, so it's very... Bye-bye, Roxanne. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, sure. And this will all be on the web. Great. So what you do now is, of course, you want to edit it. So what do you do to hit the edit? Tab key, right? Make sure it's selected. Hit the tab key. You're ready to edit. I'm going to hit the A key just to get off of everything. And I want to make sure that I'm, I have polygons selected down here so I can edit the polygons. And what I want to do here now is just right-click on that surface that's selected. And guess what command I'm going to use? I want to bring it up, right? So I want to hit the extrude command, which is what key? The E key, so extrude it up a little bit. And now what, I, what key do I want to do? The S key to, excuse me, to shrink it a little bit. You see that? I'll hit the E key again to bring it up. Then I'll hit the E key again to bring it up. And then I'll hit the S key to shrink it a little bit. Excuse me. <laughs> e key go. I got to make sure I click. And hit the S key to extrude. That means to, uh, in a sense, to shrink. Then the A key to bring it up. Then the E key again to bring it up. And then the S key to shrink it. And the E key to bring it up. And the E key to bring it up again. And the S key to shrink it. And the E key to bring it up, that's extrusion. And click. The E key to bring it up again. Click. And the S key to bring it in. And the E key to bring it up. And the E key to bring it up again. Make sure you click each time. And then the S key to extrude it. Excuse me, just shrink it. And then I'll do my last little structure here. And E key just bring that little top right there. And then I can actually go back a little bit and hit the middle key, and there's my Inca temple. And I'm going to walk around and help you guys because you had a look on your face like, oh, my God, this guy's lost his mind. Here I come. Okay, so you guys are coming along. Now, I want to tell you, you can see immediately why the initial hump to learning Blender like, is you're like, oh, my goodness, this is an amazing, all these keys and everything. But once you get it, you're going to be amazed at what you'll be drawing, you know, uh, with this software. It is powerful. And don't let anyone convince you otherwise. And so 
That's our Inca temple, and we're going to move on, and we're going to draw a sword.